Hello, everybody. Welcome to my first round match in the Champions Cup Season 4. Um, I, did, I did stream this match, but I was thinking a lot and I didn't interact with chat. I didn't say anything and he was thinking a lot. So it really took a long time. And I thought it might be better to watch the replay anyway as like a fresh set of eyes. You do get tunnel vision while you're playing a game yourself. Um, I opened with just the two dice with claw palm tackle rather than trying to set up a 3D with him. Which you could argue is a mistake, I guess. Nice done there. It's tough because obviously I need the I need the guard desperately against the Tomb Guardians. Um, but also need the need the claw palm. Them too. Lucky Kaz there, wasn't it? Just random wrestle tackle guy, no mighty blow or anything. But he regen. Then made that one a three D. Um, just because your strength four base wasn't it only need an extra extra one so starting off with stun the cars is pretty good isn't it can't complain with that oh yeah i was a hundred and hundred and uh 40 tv down so i just bought a um i bought a wizard he bought a babe um with his he had 70k in the bank so he bought a babe so he he scummed a babe and um i uh I like kind of semi scummed up with it. This is a bit shit having to put him there to get blitz because he does have guard, doesn't he? But never mind. And obviously leaving him exposed to a th potential three D with mighty blows really sucked. But I thought it, I thought he'd probably go for the this guy anyway. These take a long time to walk, don't they? So yeah, he did. He did go in for this blitz. Long way around. I mean, I don't really know why. Also, he could push him up. Oh no, yeah. Oh, that was actually quite good, wasn't it? Quite good. If he got the push, he could have got another block on. Him. That was that was actually pretty decent. Running all around the houses. Also set up for the foul, didn't it? Which um, I didn't like the foul. I didn't. I didn't like fouling, fouling a stun warrior, a stunned AMV nine. Um, I thought it was a bad foul. But there you go. He made it. Didn't get punished. Lucky him. And then he put this guy here, and it took me a minute. I, I sat and actually thought. I thought, should I clop on this guy? Should I put you know a guy in here and clop on this guy? Should I fight over there? And I was like. Wait a second, I can just surf him. <laughs> as soon as I looked over this side, I was like, wait a second. See you later, mate. And unbelievably rolled pushes. Into a successful surf. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. It's like that, obviously, straight away he gave us a big advantage, didn't he? He's down two players, including a Tomb Guardian. That let me set up a three, di oh, a two dice block on the um, on the Tomb Guardian with mighty blow. I had to go to the side though to protect it. Maybe I didn't have to. Maybe I could have put the guy here and had the ball here. But I felt like because with having these three players and well and the extra one having five players here, I felt like I should put the ball. Maybe I should have re-rolled this block, but I just didn't want to re-roll turn two. But obviously it was really super easy. You just needed a blitz here with this guy, push him and then put surf him. It was so easy to surf him that maybe I think I probably should have re-rolled that or pushed him to a different square, maybe. But um, yeah, really, really bad. Probably really should have re-rolled that one. And then for some reason he went for GFIs to, to blitz him. I, I think his, his idea was he had to actually blitz from this direction and then push him out that way, whereas obviously he could have blitzed from here and then pushed him out that way, so. And unfortunately, because there's so many players over here, I couldn't get around to surf the, um, the mummy. Would have done if I'd powered him. No, even if I'd powered him there, I couldn't have done. Maybe I should have made this block first and looked for the power and then could have run around and maybe surfed him. That would have been good, wouldn't it? But it would have been hard, though, to get the two dice, to be fair. Block those guys away. Do 
got quite a lot of bludge. I was kind of disappointed that that regen worked because his, his dodgy skeletons were actually quite quite effective. I nearly I was so close to not piling on here. I thought this was maybe a bad bad pile on because the stun was okay. But um, obviously, if I'd cast him, it's really good. By not by not pile by not piling, I would have had obviously still stood up next to his um, agility four dodger. I think maybe I shouldn't have piled on there. But I thought it was unlikely to lose the game because of the pile. He couldn't really make a good foul. Didn't really mind f failing that as long as he didn't get his armor broken because he's still taking up a nice space on the field, isn't he? A nice square on the field by failing that. Maybe he could have, like, GFI to blitz this guy or something. Maybe put some pressure on. I don't know. But he's just making two dice, isn't he, really? We're just trying to have a fight and not care about the ball so much. <laughs> Gets the guard in so he could block him and stuff. And he could he could have jammed him in there. Maybe that would have been better. Um, don't know. I mean, at this point, I thought just tag him, even though he's a fucking agility two dodger. I didn't want him to run around and do anything. Um, still couldn't couldn't go more central. Obviously, I always want to go more cent as central as possible. But the thing is, it takes so much to fight these tomb guardians. If I swung more central, I would I would give up this flank. So I thought I had to just stay focused on trying to bring down, um, you know, bring down the tomb guardians, or at least put a lot into fighting them at all times. Luckily, he strandled, strandled. He just left one out here. I think that was probably bad play. He should have at least got him in here. Getting messy with the icons. But yeah, still, maybe I should have gone to this square. Might have made things better. Don't think I could have gone here. Just well, maybe I could have done. But you know, he's got agility four. Like he could do things that normally can we couldn't do. So I had to be had to bear that in mind. <laughs> Made it a one dice for no reason because he just blitzed from there. That was that was a crazy play. Maybe he didn't see the guard. Movement five, block guard. I had to keep him in there because guard is so good, even though he's movement five. Finally brings this guy in where he probably should have been last turn. Claw guy goes down. Sad time. No surf because there's a guard there, so it's just really hard to get the surf in, wasn't it? Kept it like that. I think it was quite. I did quite well to get three guard. Where the uh, I had to re-roll this, didn't I? I think with with the wrestle. If I, if I hadn't wrestled that, they both, I couldn't get two dice on the tomb guardian. I really wanted the two dice the tomb guardian with caught up on. That was my game plan. As much as you have game plans with uh, brainless chaos, <laughs> the game plan was to hit. Hit Tomb Guardians with Claw Palm. I like this mark here. I thought this was a good little, um, a good little bit of basing here because if he blocks him, he and push, it, you know, if if he doesn't follow up, he gets surfed, and if he follows up, he gets hit by Claw Mighty Blow. So, you know, maybe he had to use his Blitz to to get him off the sideline. So, being able to pin a Tomb Guardian like that, I, I quite enjoyed. Yeah, pro strats, brainless chaos. That's brainless chaos, though, isn't it? That was pretty much the the extent of the tactics in this match. That's really what it is. He got unlucky with the blocks here, didn't he? A lot of a lot of both downs. 
Amazingly, this guy, Yelfagor, stayed up. Yeah, he's got a lot of mighty blows, so he could have he could have made some removals. I did amazing to get not on the move, to be honest. But he, he wasn't fighting with one of them. Like I was mostly banging them down, and he was standing them up. So it, it was, he wasn't too unlucky to not get removals from mighty blow. Because they were most so he had to take the board down there. Because if he powered if he powers me, he gets caught mighty blowed. Um, you know, and it's not good for him, is it? But there was a big opening here, wasn't there? If I could power this guy. Um, with the block. Mm, bring him in, I'll, yeah, I guess it's fair. So yeah, if I'd powered him, I would have made a big breakaway down here. Um, followed there, obviously, wrestle this guy, and then bring him around, him around, and then make made like a sideline cage is what I think I was going to do. But he's got break tackles, so that would have been a bit, a bit dodgy. So then I kind of changed plan, and went, um, went, you know, down this side a little bit. But then I had didn't have the movement. Maybe you know that's what I say. Maybe I should have been a little bit one square or two squares over, so I could have made a bit of a break over here to here. This would have been good if I could have got to here, which I could have done with GFIs. But it was you know he's got the agility four. He's got three guys here, so he could do things and change. So unfortunately, a GFI to hit, and then luckily had the reroll for the double skulls. So I probably should have put the tackler in the other side, and then I could have blitzed with the chaos warrior four five. KO is always good, isn't it? So, yeah, so like turn turn six, it means I've got a GFI to score. Unfortunately, just couldn't get across the past the halfway line. So, like, even though he has, like, he's just been basing me a lot, hasn't he, and given up hits, and, like, it has made it hard to progress. But it was it was my fault a bit. But then I needed a lot on this side to fight the Tomb Guardians. Then this, he made this block with his, with his mummy. And you know, gets the ball down against Wrestle. Maybe he should have um, he should have made that block with a skeleton and re-rolled the ball down because um, the the mummy being down was absolutely huge. Maybe he should just re-roll the mummy hit. You know, he could have he could have just hit with the mummy and re-rolled it. But um, I think maybe he shouldn't. Have, maybe he should re-roll that ball down. It's pretty huge, pretty huge for him losing it. And then he he made this crazy move to just like abandon the middle. But, to be fair, if he hadn't abandoned the middle like this, like, this is crazy, isn't it, giving up all this space in the middle? But if he hadn't, if he hadn't done that, it was easy for me to just knock, push these guys here and here, and then, you know, overwhelm him here and then move out diagonally. So, I didn't mind him actually moving these guys a little bit, but um, I didn't think it was that bad that he abandoned the middle like he did. I didn't think it was that bad. But, um, obviously, it made it really easy to go forward. Death. Just hitting with mighty blow because obviously no intention to pile on. He didn't need claw, but he got the regen. He's in scoring range there, um, for what it's worth. Obviously, have to tag him on the floor. And him getting an extra block. The big GFI. Now, what I could have done with this guy, I could have moved this guy to here, but it would have taken a GFI, and I was like, what if I won in 36? If I won in 36 this, it's just two dice on the ball, you know? It was like, it was just terrifying. So I just thought I can't do it. Um, but I thought I'd do these blocks first, because I wanted to get this warrior. I wanted this just to be a push, so that this Chaos Warrior could come back and, and stop this. So I thought for ages whether I should make the GFI, and then didn't. Um, went for the dodge there, and he shadowed me. But then that was fine anyway. You know, I would have, I would have liked to have the warrior here or something. But as it was, it was just about good enough. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I, did, I was, I was happy with them um, before he did do the break tackle and the GFIs to base, but then double one again. Um, so he, he, he made a GFI and double one it. If I double one that, it's just two dice on the ball. So, like, it was... I think it was easy. Like, obviously, giving up a mighty blow hit sucked. But if I double one, I just... I, yeah, the TG dodge chance is a, is a... And I guess, yeah, look. 
I guess, I guess when you think about it, yeah, me failing the GFI was was less likely than him failing the um him failing the dodge. Um, so yeah, I should have done for it. I should have probably piled on here against the KO eight out of nine to come back. Um, one in twelve to Kazim, but I thought it wasn't kind of. To be honest, I didn't know he'd bought a babe. I didn't actually know he'd bought a babe. If I'd known he bought a babe, I would have piled on instantly. Um, but yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking he was seven. He was three out of four to come back, and I was only one in twelve to Kazim. So that's why I didn't pile on. But um, if he had babes, I would have piled on for sure. So that was that was a misplay, a miss miss not thinking. And yeah, I guess I should have made the GFI because me failing the GFI is less likely than him failing the dodge. So yeah, I guess I guess I guess I was definitely wrong to not to not make the GFI. It was just scary, wasn't it? It was just scary that like as it happened, he didn't make that dodge. So maybe if he was a better player, I would have made the GFI. Um, you know, like if I was up against Ducky or something, Ducky's always going to go for the go for that Tomb Guardian dodge. So maybe against somebody like Ducky or Mull, I would have I would have maybe gone for the GFI. But I just didn't want. I wanted to avoid needless risks. Obviously, gets his guys back. But pretty amazing to not take any damage that drive, even though I didn't do any. <laughs> I was I was terrified this matchup. I thought he would absolutely batter me. To be honest, it's it's really scary. This the four strength five, isn't it, with mighty blow? Yeah, and then you fifty five percent. To um, yeah, well, and then I think there was a GFI as well, and then another two D on the ball. So you were like, some percent you would have had a chance to hit it if you'd gone for that. But um, yeah, I I don't know. Yeah, I get. I guess I guess I misplayed by not not GFIing there, especially as I gave up a mighty blow block into the bargain. But um, I probably I probably should have GFI. That's true. That's fair. But I mean, I did think about it for a while. I just, I did think about it at the time. And I guess I made the wrong decision. <laughs> so obviously he's going to three dice me. Three dice the fuck out me with a mighty blow here. No surprises there, and he's also going to foul with three reserves. I mean, he didn't have to foul here because he has got, although he's got three reserves, you know, he knows that I've got the wizard, so he's looking at best case scenario, taking it to overtime. He knows I've got claw palm, even though he's got regen, so maybe he shouldn't have fouled this this lineman. Like I didn't hate the fouling the lineman here, but I don't, I don't think it was a good play. Like it was an auto armor break, wasn't it? But I just think. It's just not necessary. He has to play for overtime, really. I think. Now that I've scored on my drive, I think he has to go for overtime. He has to be planning for overtime, should I say. And then he needs the reserves. He's only got three. It's not that it's not that many against Clawpom, is it? Even though I hadn't done anything in the half. Relevant guy comes back. So yeah, I put the um, sure hands guy on the bench just in case. Well, so obviously it makes me wizarding for a steal worse, but I don't need to score now. I just need to uh, stop him scoring. So I took him off because I just thought I don't need to steal score with a with a wizard. Because like that, you know, with being able to receive first, and I thought, who else do I put on the line if I don't, you know? So I, I had, I couldn't afford, I don't think, to put guard on the line, so I just had to put him in reserve, um, which is okay because it meant that I had him for extra time or my drive if he were to score. So I, I think that was, I think that was right to leave him on the bench there. He gets an extra re-roll. I thought was I was pretty unlucky there because now he's got five, including for overtime. You know, like if overtime comes, he's got a heavy advantage. For some reason, he left off his wrestle, 
wrestle armor skeleton. He misclicked here. He um he said in chat he misclicked and when he when he moved there obviously he intended. I don't know why he put the assist, but he, he did intend to blitz with a uh, tomb guardian. Well, I put the block goat on the line because I thought there's no there's no reason to save him. Is there? If he dies this game, he dies. It, he's he's better than a rookie. There's no point in. I think the block show hands guy was fair enough to leave off, but um, you know, someone someone decent has got to go on the line. So yeah. He, he, he did. He did say he mis he misclicked this blitz. He he meant to blitz with his tomb guardian. But um, he managed to he managed to protect the tomb guardian, which is fair enough. Makes the pick up. Shada. I just didn't have the movement. I was at a GFI, and obviously, this defense, that was a horrible foul, wasn't it? Absolutely horrible foul. Three assists on a guy who's already stunned. Ridiculous, ridiculous foul. Deservedly punished. I thought about trying to get into him, but I have to go one, two, three, four, five, GFI, and then put the other guard in. So I could have 2D'd him with Clawpon. But I thought, I just can't reroll anything because I need all those three rerolls for either overtime or my drive. So. And maybe I should have put the guard in here. I think this was a mistake. I think this guard in here, he was movement five, so he, I don't, I'm not sure he could have gone in there. But I guess if he goes there, he gets blitzed by the mummy. So I had to occupy the mummy. But I think this this guard guy should have gone in here, just to just to protect protect the claw upon at all costs. So I think I misplayed there. Like I thought at the time, I thought the um, the guard guy should have been in there to protect protect the claw upon. Had to base a mummy. It's horrible basing mummies, but you know, had to protect the claw pump. He was a bit unlucky. He's been a, he's been a bit unlucky overall, I think, with the dice. One dice on the claw pom. The only hit he's taken all game, and it was only a one dice. But I could have, I could have prevented it by putting the guard in. So I, I thought that was a definite misplay at the time. So at this point, I could have um, stood these guy up, guys up, and really gone to like you know try to stop the score and stuff. But I just thought I just didn't care about if he scores. So I thought I'll just go for claw. I'll just go for the tomb guardians. You know, I can. All, I've got more movement than him. I can swing back if I have to. Um, I could have left the claw palm out here, but then I'd have had to base this guy to stop him getting based. So I thought I'll just I'll just hide him in here and also get the assist on another tomb guardian because obviously if you knock the tomb guardians down, it's good, isn't it? Good to just you know if I, if I'd powered him over there, then I've got these two free to do stuff. This was annoying him being movement five, really crucial. I would have loved to have put him in there and got an extra block, but I've had GFI. But I should have moved him to here to stop this. This two dice was too easy for him. I should have absolutely moved the guard guy one square down. That was bad, bad play there. So you made you made a good push down this side now with with having these guys you know free because not standing these two up freed up this guy and this guy pretty much. So he made he made quite quite a strong push. I you know I could have fireballed or something, but I thought there's no point. I'll just swing round and um, try to make him score as soon as possible. Save the wizard unless I get a really good chance to use it. Again, he's hitting one of my least valuable players every turn. One 
dice, dirty dingo. But it does mean that he's two dice. Ah, oh, no, he got him up. I even thought about blitzing him as well. I mean, I think I blitzed this guy for um, to try and get back and make a token, token gesture at it. Yeah, I did. Followed up with Pylon. Yeah, Pylon. Good. Good, get a Pylon. But yeah, maybe I should have blitzed this guy. And then, um... And then blocked him. Might have been better. Just made a token. A token move to pressure the, pressure the score. And then two die that guy. Luckily get a power against dodge. And just stand him up just because I think if I stand him up he might have to score this turn. Or make a looser stall. Like if... If, if you've got a bit unlucky here... Um, I figured it was worth standing up, you know, plus especially with Wrestle. You know, if he rolls a ball down on his on his mummy or whatever, he might be forced to score or have a good wizard chance. So I, I didn't I didn't hate standing him up to get three dice potentially. Blitzes. Does he blitz the beast man for armor eight? Double skull it. He did a good job though, didn't he? Again, like I, I can't, I can't. The the armor break was huge though. The armor break was absolutely huge. If there's no armor break there, then I could have bolted him, and um, and then you know gone for the pickup or whatever. But he got a pretty huge. He got a pretty huge AV break there. And I just thought, right, just try and fight. Fight Tomb Guardians. <laughs> Get a hit with Mighty Blow. Maybe I should have blitzed him with Claw Palm, but I mean, I do have to try to make him score, don't I? That's the thing. And he is offering up his Agility Fog Blodger here to get hit by Tackle Claw Palm. So. I thought I've got to take that hit. And obviously he comes around for the pressure. Get the pow. Get the cars, which means I don't get the pile on. Unfortunate in that regard. He doesn't regen though, which is fantastic. Um, you know, and again, because I was committed to not using any rerolls, normally I would have maybe dodged out to not get punched. But because I just I just didn't have the luxury of using rerolls this half, that that was the problem. And I thought it's it's relatively difficult to get two dice on him, but he blitzes here, blitzes the warrior here, so he can get the assist on to two dice the killer. So in the entire match, he's had one two dice block against my killer. Let's see what happens. Ow. So I upload that instantly because I just thought I needed him to win. Just as much the tackle as much as anything, just because he has got a lot of blodge, hasn't he? Then he gets another injury in the same turn, which is fair enough because he's, he's got mighty blow on, on the mummies, hasn't he? So yeah, he, he manages a five-turn score, which is which is pretty decent. Um, yeah, didn't see that coming, Sean. So there you go. So it's it's one-one. I've got four turns to score, which is it's doable, isn't it, with chaos? And at this point, obviously. If I have, amazingly, he failed the KO roll there on the three plus, which was very lucky. Obviously, he's, so he's he's got eleven players, thanks to this thanks to this um, foul that he made, you know. So 
I really did think it was a bad foul in the first half, even just because he's, he's he's likely to need his subs. Luckily, with after using the thing and that, they've still got still got eleven. So it's eleven versus eleven. Four turns to score with three rerolls and a wizard. So like, I would use the rerolls if I had to, and the wizard if I had to. If I if it could guarantee a score in normal time, essentially. So I wouldn't, but you know, I, but I'm, I'm going to try to push for the score here. Um, I do the kind of moronic all men's LOS, which obviously opens myself up to perfect defense or blitz a little bit. And he gets a blitz, which when you're trying to score in four turns, it's not ideal, is it? Also, I, I'd, I'd set up like this to get the two guard in here so I could have claw palm the um, tomb guardian, his best tomb guardian, could have got a claw palm hit on. Which I was quite excited about. So like that makes it weaker by having the, the two guard on the same side. But that's why the two guard were on the same side was to, to get in to, to claw upon this this is best team guardian. So pretty horrible time to get blitzed on, isn't it, when you've got to score in four turns and try to do it without using rerolls. Horrible. Horrible situation. He did both GFIs at the same time. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. You know, he was through caution in the wind and, and and sequenced both GFIs here at the same time. I was obviously looking at horrible at three and eight. It's horrible because it's in a tackle zone, or he catches it. Um, five out of eight. It's not in a tackle zone. Thank God. Thank God. I so I thought for ages and then just went for a one die, sir. One dice, two plus because he's got a wrestle. This was almost a three plus, really. <laughs> because obviously a both down wouldn't wouldn't have saved the dodge. So maybe I should have just gone for the dodge straight up. But didn't. Um, and then obviously wrestle, tackle into the bludger. And then base the other bludger with, with tackle. Seem, seemed good. He didn't have the movement for double ball mark, I don't think so. So yeah, made some made some blocks trying to free trying to free so I had the choice here, um obviously I could have just blocked with my claw palm to free a guard or I could have blocked with a guard and free the claw palm. Maybe it would have been better to have the claw palm um back here, you know, more mobile. But I just thought, fuck it, I really want to get a claw bomb hit, you know, to try and try and get a bit of an advantage, but just pushed him. And I thought, you know, having a, having a strength four guarder back here is okay as well. And then, thank God, made the pick up with his sure hands. And then this this extra dodge was good because it made there was a little bit of a screen. Otherwise, you could have easily just two died this guy and then got a one day on the ball. But got a bit lucky with that dodge there with no reroll. But I mean, it was obviously unlucky to get blitzed. So managed to escape that turn, I think there. That was, a good recovery, considering how terrifying it was. But yeah, maybe, maybe I should have freed up the uh, claw palm. I think that was possibly a misplay. Claw palm here instead of the block guard warrior. Don't know. Get forced into a reroll by it being a wrestle. I mean, he wasn't forced into it. He could have taken the both down there, but I guess he just wanted to get as much pressure on as possible. But he's been quite frivolous with his rerolls, hasn't he? He's used three already this half, um, whereas I have I have only used one because it was critical. Ah, yeah. So that 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 tomb guardian now takes this guy out of the game. So now I'm happy that it's not the uh, it's not the claw palmer over there at this point. And he's got to base the ball. He's got to base the ball. Which unfortunately means I've just got to blitz with without block. Thank God not into the one in nine. And in fact, into a, into a pow on a, on, on a blodger, which is crazy, isn't it? Into a KO. So that, that was a pretty amazing block. Blitz, that almost made me think about, because that was a removal, I thought maybe I could go around this side. But I thought, seeing as so many of my players are up here, I've got I've got to kind of go into this kind of area somehow. So this time I did free up the claw palm. I 
It's horrible. It was it was a horrible situation, you know. And by, by being here, I'm dedicated to four four GFIs to score now as well, which is always scary. Dodge there, which I couldn't afford a re-roll on, though maybe I would have had to. So it was just it was all really fucking scary at this point. But amazingly, had it in a kind of a little, almost a cage, at the end of all that. And now he's getting to tee off with the Tomb Guardians, which he hadn't been able to really throughout the first half. Got a huge injury on that Chaos Warrior, minus movement, no apple for him, sad times. Be a big miss in the next round. Is that just a one dice or yeah, a two dice? So at least, at least that was well positioned for me. If I was him, I would think I would have just one deed him to try to free up this guy because he hasn't put a lot of pressure on has he and he rolled the quad skulls here from his his mummy his block mummy rolled quad skulls into minus movement into no regen so that was a pretty that was a pretty crazy block that he made there not that it made that much difference but it did mean that now he was tied up one on one instead of having a free skeleton to go somewhere and he didn't move this guy so crazily I had the chance of a break now Blitz with a claw pump, not piling on, crazy bastard. Um, yeah, so I was just like, right, I can just go for it now, can't I? Double GFI, commit to commit to using the reroll for it. I was like, fuck it, let's go. I just sequenced them both together because I was like, I've just got to go for it. Ended up like obviously it's just a four plus dodge out and then a five plus to get the ball, so it's not it's not crazy for him. Four, four five and it, and even a push. Uh, sorry, it's a four three because it's a dodge out and then a, and then a push puts me out of scoring range. So it's not even it's not even difficult for him to uh, to stop me scoring here after all that. Obviously, they're both down there. Maybe I should have made the move with the ball carrier first before I made this block. Then I could have re-rolled the block. I guess that was misplayed there. Yeah, four plus three plus dot score. So yeah, I guess I should have moved him first and then made this block, and then I could have re-rolled it. But then I just didn't want to, you know. I didn't want to because I thought save the re-rolls in case of overtime, save the wizard in case of overtime. That's what I wanted to do all the way through. You know, some people thought I should have bolted this that turn, but he could have just gone three and Dutch GFI'd twice. But, um... Yeah. So then, I just bolted it. I mean, there wasn't much else I could have done. Everything else was a dodge. So I, I thought I'll use the dodge. I'll use the bolt and go for the two GFI's to try and win in regulation. And amazingly did. There you go. I mean, I was I was... It was kind of shit to, it was, <laughs> it was a really tight win and haven't used the wizard just to secure a score on my drive, but it was super scary getting blitzed on. And um, yeah, and I was trying, I really trying to conserve rerolls as well. So like my defense was trying to conserve my players and trying to conserve my rerolls. And so I didn't really, I wasn't trying to play great, if you like, I was just trying to play as, as like absolutely conservatively as possible in all situations um so yeah that that was that um did out bash him just just but didn't do a lot of damage to say how many how many blocks i got but you know didn't take too much damage um so yeah there you go so next round it'll be against humans or bretonians i think probably against the bretonians which are you know could have four blodge and they are quite fast they've got dirty players so i can't pile on so much against them so It'll be an interesting one the next round. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.